hi my darlings you're welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Olido and this is a new series I like to title how fast can I monetize my small YouTube channel in this new series I'm going to be sharing my progress and reviewing my analytics I'm also going to be figuring out things that I need to improve on and sharing my goals for the month ahead if that sounds like something you're interested in Keep watching. Before we get started, I would like to give a brief history of my channel. Um, I started this channel after I got married and the initial plan was to share tutorials, how to trade Forex, how to buy stocks and shares in the US and all of that. You know, I started that for a while and then I went back to work, my 9 to 5. I am an architect and interior designer and I just found it difficult trying to combine my 9 to 5 and then filming, editing and all whatnot. So it was just pretty much, it was it was a lot and somehow I just kept procrastinating. I kept, things just kept coming up and I just kept procrastinating and procrastinating. And that is how I just took that break for like a year. Anyways, now I'm back and I've decided that regardless of whatever it is, I'm going to take this YouTube journey very, very serious. I believe that... 2024 is my year and you know i'm gonna i should be able the hope is that i should be able to monetize my channel this year and i'm going to be taking you guys on this journey with me so i started this series titled how fast can i monetize my um youtube channel because i wanted to be a form of me trying to hold myself accountable you know trying to stay consistent i believe that in this series is going to help me count my blessings see you know how i'm progressing where i'm not getting it right and then figure out how to actually get it right so that i can monetize my channel i'm going to be sharing obviously i'm going to be sharing things that has helped me throughout my journey so far and things that has not worked you know as we talk throughout the video i should also mention that i have always wanted to start something like this but i didn't know how to go about it so i i stumbled on a video by jen hi jen i don't know if you get to see this video but i stumbled on her video and it kind of encouraged me i just decided to okay you know what let me just start this accountability journey and yeah i'm excited and i hope it's something you enjoy watching so the first thing i'm going to do is to share my dashboard with you guys in case you see me looking down in this video it's because i'm looking at my laptop okay so this is my dashboard and currently we have 838 um subscribers Woo! <laughs> and um we're going to be doing the analytics for the month of may okay so i feel like we're going to be doing these videos on a monthly basis i feel like that's more doable for me yes so let's start with the month of may okay in this month of may we got 6.5k views in total Woo! <laughs> and our watch hours was up this month we had 213.5 watch time hours that's you guys watched my video 213 for 213 hours wow that that's just wonderful and oh in order for us to monetize our channel right we need to have at least 4,000 watch hours and um uh 1000 subscribers okay and so far we have 250 ish watch hours but we'll get to that and that's like i think five percent or six percent so far so we're getting there <laughs> we're getting there in the month of may we got 85 subscribers also in total you guys are welcome <laughs> yes all of this was possible because we uploaded 
I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven videos this month. Wow, that is so nice. And one short um, earlier in the month of May. Okay, um, so we'll scroll down to see what our highest performing content is this month or in the month of May. Um, I think our highest performing content was the content I posted on the 26th of May and that was the rosemary and cloves water for massive hair growth, the natural hair wash day um, routine and so far that has pulled in over I think currently is doing 2.2k views total and that really helped um the next one you guys loved was posted on the 8th of may and is my wife diaries that's the latest price of food stuff in the market um more or less a market blog you guys absolutely love that so yeah then the next best performing is the vlog i did also about my natural hair you know content you guys also loved that one too so my least performing content for the month of may i feel would be the video i posted about the truth about being consistent on youtube i feel like that video did not do so well um if we open up the analytics currently it has 90 views and it was posted like three weeks ago or so it the views are down the watch hours are down they are less than usual you know and i feel like the reach also wasn't so great as compared to my other videos um trying or looking at it now and trying to figure out you know what i did wrong in that video I cannot really say but um, I noticed that most of the videos that are posted regarding consistency on YouTube um, my growth on YouTube the struggles of you know new youtubers and all whatnot they have been getting really really low views um, so I would keep trying on that part of my channel and see if it will pick up but I will not dwell so much on it because obviously it's not doing so well. So I will just focus more on how to videos and um, vlogs, you know, because I feel like that's what my audience is currently resonating more with. And um, I will try to post more of all those kind of videos. Okay, so I think one of the reasons why my watch time hours was up because I posted a lot more this in the month of May and um, seven videos that's a lot so the consistency was pretty much obvious I think I posted two times every week and yeah I was really really consistent in the month of May and I think that's something I will be taking into the month of June I'll try to see if I can post around five to seven videos also in the month of June and see if that is possible okay so far i've posted um one video so far for the month of june and i feel like you know we can keep up you know the pace and see how that goes i've also filmed another video and plus this particular video right now so that's like three already yeah so i mean we're getting there right <laughs> so that is pretty much what my analytics is saying for you know the month of may it was in general it was a pretty great month i was able to stay consistent the goal for the month of may was to stay consistent and i would say that um i achieved that it's it was it was great it was it was it was absolutely great um so currently this is how far we are on our monetization journey okay the first stage of monetization um you need uh 500 subscribers and three video uploads and 3000 watch hours but that's not our target our target is this one where you need 1000 subscribers and 4000 watch hours okay so that's our target right now and so far this is how we're doing we have 838 subscribers and i love every one of you guys and then we have 253 watch hours already in the past one year on the past 365 days and i feel like 
we we have so much potential we can we can actually do this i'm really really hopeful and i know that we can we can actually do this okay so the goals for the month of june is pretty much stay consistent try to put out more how-to videos that's videos that necessarily don't change they just stay consistent over time so each time people search for them they are fresh they they are they never really go out of style for example that my um rosemary and cloves video each time there's only one way to make rosemary and cloves hair water spray and each time somebody looks it up in the next two years three years you know the video will always pop up and it will always be there so all of all those kind of content that people would search for over time i will try to research more about them and you know make more of those kind of videos and hopefully you know they will do well <laughs> yeah so that's pretty much the goals for this month i'm going to um try to stay consistent and then post more how-to videos um lessons that i have learned is pretty much um editing i'll say i'm getting better at editing my videos and i'm only going to get better as i practice so that's just what i'm going to i'm going to put in more effort in editing my videos making it more um more viewer friendly kind of in the sense that um you should be able to watch my videos without getting bored halfway okay so i'm going to try to see how i make that work also um another lesson i've learned is that you guys don't like watching youtube growth videos <laughs> you like um vlogs and um but i really want to document this so maybe i'll be doing this youtube growth videos for myself just so i can look back and see how much i have come you know later on in life maybe I'll, I'll maybe i'm not doing this for you guys maybe but low-key i'm hoping that this video would encourage someone out there you know i started this journey like uh, this is going to two years now in as much as i've been i've been on and off but now i've decided okay i want to take this serious and um i really really hope that this year is my year okay yeah so until next month which is july and we'll see how we do in the month of june stay consistent okay and i love you guys and i can't wait to share a new update concerning this in the next video Mwah. bye